Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our February 2022 tarot reading. And this is going to be for the sign of Cancer. And I have a jumping card, so I'm going to keep that. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message to me that I may share it with my viewers for the highest good of all. Middle of the month, I'm going to take a card from the center. And the end of the month, I'm going to take a card from the bottom. Okay, let's see what we have here. So, Cancer, the jumper was the lovers. The lovers? This is so, so dark in here. I should have my glasses on. No, this is the, no, it says love on the bottom of it. This deck is a very hard to read deck sometimes. If you could notice those Roman numerals up there. To me, this looks like the lovers, but actually it's the two of cups. We have the cups down here. This is a very beautiful deck. It's one of my favorite decks, the heaven and earth deck. Um, and this right here, the two of cups, is a very gentle, loving energy in the beginning of the month, Cancer. And like I said, these cups are our emotions, our feelings. Okay, and this is signifying for some of you possible growth in a relationship, in an existing relationship that you're in. Maybe you're taking a relationship to the next level in the beginning of February. And how great is that? I mean, it's going to be Valentine's Day on the 14th. So the beginning of February is a, a very uh, loving type of energy for you. And that's perfect for the, the month that we have Valentine's Day. Uh, this could be some of you maybe getting engaged possible marriage could be offered for some of you. And this will be different for all of you because this is a general reading. Uh, this could be also maybe harmony and balance and some type of reconciliation in a relationship that maybe has been, you know, not going so smoothly. Uh, maybe someone and you have parted ways and maybe this is getting back together with that person, whatever it is, it has a, a very emotional, loving overtone to it, this card with these two of cups. And then in the middle of the month, we have you moving away from something chaotic. We have the six of swords, okay? Uh, we have you leaving something behind, okay, that has been causing a lot of chaos in your life. And, you know, you've done all you could, Okay, and there's nothing else you can do but to move on to calmer waters. Okay, with this Six of Swords, uh, you're, you're going away from things so you can improve a situation. Okay, this is telling you that harmony is going to be restored in whatever the situation that you're moving away from. Maybe you're moving away from one relationship in order to make this other relationship work. You may have been caught maybe between two people. That's quite possible. We had two suitors, um, but this here is telling you that you're going away from the storm. You're not going into it. You've been through something that is telling you that, you know, you need to just move on from whatever this situation is that has not been working. This could also be a physical journey. Maybe some of you are going to be traveling over water. If you're going out of the country for something, you're going on a boat. Uh, maybe you're taking a cruise. But whatever it is, this is telling you that, you know, you've experienced difficult times and the matter at hand is going to improve, okay? And harmony is going to be restored. And then at the end of the month, we have the Queen of Cups. This could be someone you're dealing with. And I don't consider these cards gender specific. This could be a man or woman at the end of the month, or this could be the energy you're taking on. Queen of Cups is a very dreamy-like energy at the end of the month. So you want to make sure you pay attention to your dreams that you're having at the end of the month because they could have some really important messages for you. Uh, this Queen of Cups is a very intuitive person, okay? She feels a lot. Sometimes she may get caught up in the drama of life, okay? But she is very heartfelt, very sincere, very dreamy. Um, it's a very beautiful energy, and I'm noticing up here, it looks like there's a dove up above here, which is a sign of peace, um, and, and she's just sitting there holding this cup in her hands. So the Queen of Cups, like I said, could be also someone you're going to be dealing with, okay, at the end of the month, who's going to be a very sensitive, emotional person. 
okay? She's very empathic, too. She's the kind of person that, you know, if you need someone to talk to on an emotional level, she could, you know, really connect to you on an emotional level. She's been there. She's done that. She feels deeply. Wow, what an interesting month for you. Taking things to the next level, maybe a commitment, marriage, engagement, and moving away from something that wasn't serving you. And then, you know, feeling this dreamy-like energy, this loving quality at the end of the month is just so beautiful for the end of February. Interesting reading for you. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving it a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.